Hello everybody, welcome to this next video on uh, linear algebra. We were discussing some questions on intersection of subspaces. We'll continue that and we'll discuss some more questions. So let me write down the statement. The first statement is that if S is a non-empty subset of B, then prove that span of S is the small is the intersection of is the intersection of all the subspaces of V containing S. This is your problem. And you have to uh, prove it. So you, do you understand? The question says that if S is a non-empty subset of V, you have a vector space V and S is a set, non-empty set inside V. And we know that what we mean by span of S, we have already seen that thing again and again. So we have span of S here and we have to prove that if we collect all the subspaces of V which contains S, which contain S, then their intersection is going to be span of S. So it is actually simple to prove. Do you remember we have proved one theorem that span of S is the smallest subspace containing s right okay so this is what we already know in like two three videos ago we have proved it okay so now you see if you collect if you collect all the collect all the subspaces of v all the subspaces of v containing S, right? Call them W, WIs. Now, note that because span of S is one of the subspace containing S, so span of S is one of the element. Know that span of S is one of the element here. Right? Okay. So, if span of S is one of the elements, so if you take intersection, if you take intersections, then obviously this intersection set is going to be a subset of span of S because the span of S is one of the element here, Wis. And if you take the intersection, you for sure is going to get the smallest element. So because of this thing, you get this relation. Now you come back to this statement. Span of S is the smallest space containing S. Right. Now you see here, sigma of Wis. This is again a subspace. Why? Because we have proved that intersection of subspaces is a subspace. Intersection of subspaces is a subspace. Right? Okay. And also, S is a subset of each WI for all I. Therefore, S is, a, is uh, in the intersection of W also because everywhere S is common so it will be common in the common part also therefore we get that S is contained in this subspace because this is subspace right now but we know that sigma S is the smallest subspace containing uh, S therefore span of sigma s i'm sorry span of s is the smallest subspace containing s therefore span of s is also a subset of sigma uh, intersection of wis right okay this is because span of s is smallest subspace containing s right so from one and two you see you here you have intersection of wis is a subset of span of s here you have span of S is a subset of intersection of WIs. So from 1 and 2, you get from 1 and 2, we get span of S is equal to intersection WIs. So this is what we were asked to prove. Hence proof. Right. We can have one more question. Look at the statement. So you, your question is, that you have uh, your space V is space of all functions 
from R to R. Right. So generally we denote it with this magnitude of engagement. Right. And inside this space you have W T, which is space of all polynomials. And we are talking about over real. And then you have W, which is all those functions, right? All those continuous functions. Right, which are even f of x is equal to f of minus x. This is also a space of continuous functions because volume is a continuous function. So we have to ask w intersection uh, u intersection w is it a vector subspace? Is it a vector subspace? So you can make it shorter also space of all sub functions. Instead of all functions, you can take all continuous functions. Because that is also a subspace, and here we are talking about continuous functions. Now you see, if you take intersection of these two sets, here you have space of all polynomials. Here is space of all even continuous functions. Right. So this we know is already a subspace. We know we have already proved it. This is all already a subspace. Now if you can prove that this is a subspace, then since intersection of two subspaces is a subspace, you are done. Now let f and g belongs to W, then f of minus x is equal to f of x and g of minus x is equal to g of x. Now for alpha, beta in your field R, alpha f plus beta g minus x is going to be alpha f of minus x plus beta g of minus x. This is alpha f of x plus beta g of x. So this is alpha f plus beta g of x. Right. So it implies that alpha f plus beta g belongs to u uh, w again so it for f g in w and alpha beta in r you have alpha f plus beta g in w right so it implies that w is a subspace hence u intersection w is a subspace because we know that intersection of two subspaces is a subspace so this is how you will prove and th these are the types of questions which you can guess g get on the base basis of this intersection of subspaces. Thank you.